welcome back guys to a brand new mod review today we're going to be taking a look at the moving worlds mod and the da vinci vessels mod which both mods kind of go hand in hand so you need both you can't just have one and not the other guys but real quick before we actually start this mod review i just want to say that my skin is still a little bit glitched guys i don't know what it is i think it's uh normal minecraft and the servers maybe but i've tried to reset my skin twice uh, skin twice now guys and it has not worked so you know we're just gonna roll with it looks pretty good i mean i have a little bit of an arm and i think my belt or my legs or no that's the coat it's the bottom of my coat guys but yeah so that's what's up with my skin if you noticed it in the last mod review guys it just seems to be vanilla minecraft and the skin servers they're not really connecting well because it you know it works fine in the mod pack and everything uh but yeah guys so today the moving world and the uh the da vinci's a vessel mod a very very cool guys so interesting fact number one in the video guys is that the da vinci's a vessel used to be archimedes ships plus mod but then he took moving world because what moving world really is guys is it's a mod that allows mod creators to use the open source code and kind of create their own little mods to customize minecraft like the moving world has all the parts you need you just take it and customize it to your ability now if you just put moving world in into your world guys it doesn't do anything i mean i tried that i thought that was what the mod was but it wasn't it's kind of like a kit for modders to take and make their own mods so that's very interesting and one guy did it he actually discontinued archimedia ship if i remember correctly and created da vinci's vessel so you might see some sim uh, similarities between the two mods but it's really really cool guys so i have my ship here my lovely little ship we got passenger seats and crates and steam engines and a, a little uh wheel yeah a little wheel and we got some compasses and whatnot guys it looks very very cool and snazzy and guys come on this is beautiful i i'm gonna be getting quests to be on build teams right guys, as soon as this video goes out <laughs> okay guys but let's go over some of the interesting pieces in the mod guys so first up the most important piece is the ship's home so once you guys create the ship I would create it floating by the way because you don't want it touching anything or you can create it on shore buffers which are that but I'll go over that in a sec so the ship's helm guys is kind of like the wheel so this is what the GUI of the ship helm looks like you can rename the ship you can assemble it which gets into flying and then you can mount it so I'll show you guys that in a second but a very important part of this mod guys is the air balloons now that is right here Oh no, that's the floating. Uh, air balloons. So if you want to create a ship that can fly, you know, go up, go down, you know, fly in the air like it is now. I mean, it's not really flying, it's floating because I have it parked. But if you want to create one that can fly, guys, you need to have 40% of your ship needs to be these air balloons. Now, the recipe for these air balloons, guys, is one wool and one string, and you get an air balloon. So, you know, it's kind of cheap. But I mean, getting the wool, getting the string might be hard in the beginning of your world. So you might want to create some spawners, you know, some spider traps or, you know, a sheep farm and stuff like that. Uh, but you need 40% of your ship to be this uh, air balloon. Now, the cool thing, guys, is that there's many different color air balloons. You can, you can dye them like you do with wool. So you have a lot of different color options now that are a little bit lighter, like the dye is a little bit lighter than the normal dye. So if I go back to the other wool, you can see it's a little bit darker. Um, so that's how you can tell if it's an air balloon or wool. But you need 40% and then the ship can float. It gives buoyancy to the ship, which I think is kind of cool. Now, another thing is if your ship is really heavy, some blocks sink faster than others. Like right now, guys, my ship is going to stay hovering because I actually went into the configs and changed it. So I need zero. I need zero balloons on my ship. Now, that's some customization you guys can do in the config. But right off the bat, the ship needs 40. And also right off the bat, guys, different blocks have different densities. Iron blocks, obsidian. Uh, different kind of metal ores, um, stone. If you create ships out of these, it will sink faster than with lighter blocks like wool, like wood. Um, I don't really know what else would be lighter. But, you know, you, you guys get the idea. It's the density of the blocks matters too. So, the, but the, you know, to help that is you guys can use these floaters. Now, these floaters lighten the weight of the ship a little bit. So, the recipe for these would actually be a wool and a wood and it has a property like a wood block so if you break it it kind of has that same sound um not like the sound like an air balloon that kind of sounds like wool but you guys get the idea these floaters help lighten the weight of the ship overall now i think i forgot to show you guys the recipe for the helm real quickly that is an iron ingot four sticks and four wood looks like you guys can use any type of plank wood yeah except any plank wood really so that's very cool you just need an iron that seems to be the most expensive uh item in the recipe so far okay guys so that's kind of like the important stuff now 
if you want to have like say this is multiplayer because this is compatible with multiplayer guys you have these passenger seats so while i'm up here on the ship directing it or while the captain or whoever wants to fly to sh uh, directing it you're going to want to have passengers in the back seat now they just right click and they can sit and they just sit here and they watch it which i think is very cool and to make these uh, seats, guys, you can have as many as you want on the ship, too. It's just three wool. It's really three any kind of wool. And so it's going to come out as red, guys. They're not customizable. Well, hopefully in the future, like, depending on the color of the wool, it'll be that color when you make it. Because that will be really cool, actually. But right now, it's just red. And if you want to bring a pet, say, or a zombie, or maybe your wolf friend onto the ship, guys, this is what you got to do. Where's the eggs? Oh, that's not where the eggs are. You just have to lead them. Usually you have to lead them with a lead. But if you just drop it on there. Where'd he go? If you just drop it onto these crate things, it traps them. So as you guys can see, he's kind of floating above it. But he's not going to be able to move. And then once we start flying, guys, he will come with us. So you can actually transport villagers or mobs or, you know, passive mobs. And like I, I, really the only use I'm seeing of this guys is if you're moving bases and you want to move animals, or if you need to move villagers maybe up to an iron farm or to a, a secure location, that would be really bad, like really nice. It's better than using a crap ton of rails and mine carts to get them there. So I think that's a really useful use of this mod, guys. So he's not moving, and then the way to let him go, guys, is with a redstone signal. But you know, since he didn't move, I turned it off. He's caught again, but as you guys can see, uh, when I let, when I let him down, I let him off. He actually sinks back down. So that's how you guys can see that he is trapped. It. Let's get a villager. Come here, buddy. I think he should be stuck. There we go. I just had to just the toggle it. So he's floating. He is stuck now. He's going to come flying with us. And now, guys, another part of this mod will be these steam engines. So how you make these steam engines is an oven with a bucket of water and seven iron ingots. Now, the purpose of these steam engines, guys... They are to help give ship the, the power it needs to run. So I have four of them, and they have four slots for coal. Uh, I would say they use coal moderately. They don't go through it fast. It's not like they use. Uh, it's not like they go through it slow either. They use it moderately. So you want to have quite a bit of coal when controlling these guys. I mean, I haven't really flown it for a long time. But I have four of them, and it goes pretty fast, so I like that. But I think you can have as many as you want, guys. So, I mean, if you just have a ship made out of these, it's going to be heavy because iron and the ovens are heavy. But it's going to go pretty fast. So I think that's cool. You just place them down on your ship, guys. And they work anywhere. So that's really, really cool. Just make sure it has coal. You don't need any red, uh, red zone signal or anything. And then another thing, guys, are these gauges. So these gauges are actually really cool. We have a measurement gauge, which is kind of like the normal one. This takes two gold, two iron, redstone, and some glass panes. And then you have the extended one, which takes a normal measurement gauge, four glass panes, two iron, and two gold so what these gauges do guys is they give you the direction the speed your um if you're going up and down so this is the extended one this one actually tells you if you like this dial right here the one i'm looking at so if you're going up i believe it points red and if you're going down it points to blue so that's a very cool thing this gives you your speed and then i think this yellow one is your compass and i haven't found out a use for this one yet but we'll i think this actually says that, oh yeah this is to tell you if you're straight because i mean if you're diagonal guys because you know, you're not going to be able to park the ship if you're diagonal. So you want to make it straight. So that's what that one does. I feel that's very, very cool. And also, guys, a really cool thing to note is that entities like torches, doors, um, let's see, what else would be plants, like flowers, they also stay with the ship. Like, these don't pop off when you make the ship. So you can fly the ship with them, which I think is very cool. Now, guys, the max blocks you can have for a ship is 2,000 and... 48 i believe that's how many like that's like, the biggest ship you can make right now but you can easily go into the configs and change that and make it max so you really can make any size ship you want but enough of that guys real quickly before we fly the ship i'm going to talk about a couple of other things in the mod because i know you guys just want me to see you fly the ship because it's very very cool but they have these two items called buffers you have the shore buffer and the sticky buffer so right below me guys i have a shore buffer so the ship can can rest on the shore buffers okay it can rest on the shore buffer and when you you can basically use it as a landing pad so what happens is when the ship is touching the shore buffer it will not connect it because when you assemble the ship it takes all the blocks touching the ship and it makes it into a very big it makes it into the ship it makes it into its own little entity uh, but except for these shore buffers they're kind of like 
the obsidian to a blast radius you know like you can't blow up obsidian so you use it as like a layer a protective layer around stuff well that's what you do with these shore buffers i can use it as a landing pad and then i can take off from it and we're good to go so i'm actually going to demonstrate that now you also have these things called the sticky buffers which acts as the opposite they will be made with your ship like if you land onto a pad with sticky buffers it'll make it as a ship like it will be part of the ship so you don't want that don't even know the uses of these sticky buffers but i mean if you guys find one say so in the comments down below but the recipe to make these two guys is a buffer is a floater and an ink sack and it makes a shore buffer and then to make a sticky buffer it's a shore buffer and a slime ball because you know slime balls are sticky which is very cool but now guys enough of that let's get right into the ship because I know you guys want to see me make it. So we just assemble it. So it, it's assembled, but it's not moving. I, act, I actually have to mount it. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I have that auto jump on. This is 1.10.2, guys. Or maybe it's... Yeah, 1.10.2. So now what we're going to do is going to mount it, guys. And as you guys can see, I'm at the front end of the ship. And it's still a little glitchy, guys. It'll sometimes disappear. But it's there. And once we start moving, you guys can see that... Oh, yep. I was correct with that white line, guys. It demonstrates uh, how straight the ship is. Now... The yellow one is a compass, and the blue one gives me if you're going up or down. So if I press X, guys, I'm going up, and it goes to red. If I press Z, it goes to blue, and I'm going down. Now, I'm trying to turn around, but that guy, oh, you can't see it. That guy right there is the speed. I was correct. Now, let me see. This is very, very cool, guys. It is very fun. I'm going to try to go right over this. This. Okay, am I over it? Okay, I am over it. We're going to descend until we hit it which we hit it guys and then I'm going to hit backslash and I disassembled it and as you guys can see I'm resting on the shore buffer so usually what happens guys is when I assemble, uh, assemble the ship these will go with it but they're not going to because it's a special kind of block to make a landing pad out of so you may want to make a big one because it is very hard to land this thing because like I said you're at the very front end of it guys you guys can't see but as you guys also can see these guys are still with us so that's a very cool they stayed with us they didn't fall through the floor or anything but anyways back to the ship assemble let's mount it and let's take off x is ascent so x goes up z is descent so that means you go down and as you guys can see we're just gonna have some fun so turning it a really cool thing about this mod is that if you guys look the wheel turns with you it shows you which way you're turning which i think is a very very cool part of the mod like that's a very little like small render to add in but guys this is so much fun and i'm you can make any size ships you guys want you can make any design you can just have a block like a floating a floating block that would be really cool but also let me try to go oh oh no i parachuted i didn't mean to parachute get me out of here okay <gasps> no ship he's flying without me okay this gets the tricky part guys so because it's in ship mode right now oh wait maybe i can go i can actually push it though <gasps> oh no it's shrinking okay okay we need to go up 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 no shrinking so you guys need to watch that because my my ship is kind of heavy it does sink very slowly so make sure your ships don't uh don't sink like that let's see if we can park it again oh no we're gonna miss this that's okay actually <gasps> no i keep parachuting so guys i think hitting F, a left shift makes you parachute let's try that one more time yeah left shift it makes you parachute which you land safely on the ground now to disassemble the ship guys it's backslash and there we go the ship is now in floating entities like blocks you can break it because you can't really break it when it's in ship mode so it is parked which is very cool guys but that's basically the gist of the mod just make sure you have um, most of your ship is 40 percent balloons so it can float steam engines make you go fast make sure you have seats passenger seats for your friends if you're on a multiplayer make sure you have floaters if your ship's made out of heavy blocks you know basically all that stuff guys and you are good to go you can make any ship you want in minecraft you can explore your world you can do all that you can do the whole wham bam shabam and it's very cool guys if you enjoyed this mod review don't forget to check it out link will be in the description don't forget you need forge you need moving worlds and you need the Vinci vessels now if you guys really like this mod review don't forget to drop a like maybe comment if you have any questions guys i'll respond to them in the comment section down below but yeah guys i'll see you all in the next episode